Guys, let's try Roblox Studio Mobile. Let's go. So we are in Roblox Studio Mobile, and obviously this is a different style video as we're not showing really a tutorial. I mean, you could follow the code and do what I did, but it's not really a tutorial. So yeah, and thank you guys so much for like 600, I think we're almost 630 subs at the time recording. So thank you guys so much. The appreciation and everything, it's awesome. All right, so yeah, we're going to try out Roblox Studio Mobile because Roblox Studio doesn't Roblox Studio Mobile doesn't actually exist, so someone made something called Studio Lite. And you can actually create games, which is cool because mobile players actually have the access to using scripts and code on the go. So, yeah. So, let's see, guys. Alright. So, let's try it. I'm just going to mess around with this right now. So, let's do part insert, block. Alright. And let's press the plus and look how many options there are. The reason why there's so many options is because we can actually use anything that Roblox Studio already has normally. So yeah, so let's just enter in a script. And we see there's a bunch of already pre-made scripts. As we see, uh, there's like a bunch of scripts. I want to just make my own script and make like a kill part script. As we see, there already is something like it. There's an explosion script, damage or heal script, but we're going to make our own because we're just like that. We're going to code it ourselves. So let's press insert on the regular script. And if you've done any of our tutorials, you probably know this. Um, but if you don't, that's fine, right? You know, but uh, this is how we make a kill part. We're going to do script.parent.shift. And then we have to do uppercase touched and then colon. And we're going to do connect. And then inside we can input function. And then in here we can actually put hit as we're going to need that later. So now let's press enter. And that's annoying that it doesn't automatically create our end. As that, because that just saves a lot of time. You don't have to keep putting end, end, end. Because that you could automatically cause yourself errors, which is annoying. But I guess we'll just add our end here. So end. And we'll put that there. All right. So let's go back up. And. We're gonna do an if statement. We're gonna do if space and then space hit dot parent and then colon shift find colon. I mean shift first and then write first shift again and we're gonna put child and then we're just gonna do in here we're gonna put quotation and we're gonna close it off of course. So we're gonna put inside of it. We're gonna check if the person whoever's touching it has a humanoid as the only things that can get damaged are things with humanoids. So makes sense, right? So then we're gonna do space and then we can do then and then we can press enter and move on to our next line and let's put our end in there we need to add our end real quick and there we go but for some reason it's it's very weird right now it's very weird right now because it's really trying oh my gosh no no stop moving stop moving stop moving oh my gosh for some reason it keeps wanting to move back which doesn't really make sense because we're trying to cold this and it's just moving on its own which is very dumb but it's it's whatever i think it will automatically do it and actually already did it it did all melt that's cool all right so um i would add more to this normally i would check if oh they exist or whatever but i'm not gonna do that um just because i have to cut some corners as this keyboard is minuscule, first of all, and you can't really use the actual like phone keyboard, which is would be much easier to use. And so we're gonna have to stay with this keyboard for some reason because I guess in Roblox Studio, I guess you can't input, you can't request the user's like keyboard, which is very just why, why? Or it's because this is not a um a text box they can write in. That's probably why, and they had to do something else to make a secret write code all right so we got that done right so let's do hit dot parent okay and then we could just do a uh, colon shift and then we could do take actually no can we do it like that i don't think so so we're gonna have to add a humanoid dot humanoid to it so let's do dot humanoid and then we could do colon shift and then we could do take shift damage and we're making a kill part, so we're gonna make it want to do 100 damage. And there we go. We have wrote in our uh, our wrote. What well, I can't speak. We have wrote in our code to do it. All right. So let's exit out. And also, when it does the color, that's how you know it's saved. All right. Just so you know. 
So we got that done. So let's click on our part here and let's make the color of it. We can actually choose it like this. Okay. I wish the loop was a bit faster. As you can see, it's kind of choppy, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to make it nice, bright red. And there we go. So let's press play. Now we can start it. And now if I touch this, boom, I'm dead immediately. Just like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not too complicated. And even, I'm gonna rename this. How about we might try to make an obby, right? Let's try to have some fun and play. See, you can see that because it's a text box and we're able to actually edit it with the actual keyboard. So, I don't know. I don't know Roblox, whatever. So, let's just call this kill part. There we go. Let's just call it kill part and there we go. All right. So obviously this is an obby, so how about we make it so this is up, right? Or actually, we don't even need to move anything really when I think about it. All we need to do is just delete our base plate. So let's go here and delete. Let's click this and wait, let's make sure it's anchored. Oh, I can't see. Let's make sure it's anchored, anchored, anchored. Oh my God, no, I didn't mean to click that. No, no, no. Okay, wait, go up here, up here, anchored. There we go. And now, Let's go over here. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna make a tiny little obby. So let's move it over here. And yeah. So how about we try to play around with some UI? Obviously, this is not gonna be a full complete obby as that would be insanely annoying to do, but it's fine because the limitations are very annoying. Like, um, you can't plug in a keyboard because I've tried it. Okay, you cannot put in a keyboard because I don't think it uses I don't I don't think it uses regular input, so that's a bit annoying, but whatever, right? Also, Studio Light is also available on computer, on PC or whatever, so that's cool. But um, so we're gonna go to starter GUI and let's see, can we actually make a GUI? Let's just add a text label. Uh no. Okay, wait. We need a screen GUI. And then let's add a text label. So how does this work? How how can we move you? You just stay there, huh? Um oh that's gonna be so annoying. That's another limitation of this as we cannot like exactly do what we want. We can't just move this GUI, I don't think. Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna make you Okay, let's make Let's make background transparency one. There we go. And I'm not gonna play too much around it as it's very just, holy moly. All right. So what we're gonna do is just make the text nothing, okay? And there we go. So now you can't even see it. All right, there we go. And when I wanna go back into our script with the kill part, and I'm gonna just quickly write some code. So guys, I'll be back. All right, guys. So we, d so I've done this. I've done local p equals game dot players get player from character hit dot parent. Okay. And to do what I'm trying to do, we're gonna actually access the um the text label you know that we created. So let's see, let's see. Oh my God, I can't. I'm right, gonna do p dot. We're gonna do shift. We could do play. Uh oh, we could do play your shift g u y dot and then let's just wait for it to load and then let's exit and let's just check out what we called it. it was screen gui and text labels so it's just normal stuff okay let's click on this guy and let's just go in here and then boom we can continue where we left off and i remember from what i remember it was I think it was screen so we're gonna do green fifth gui and then we can do dot tech, oh text label and oh oh whoa oh. and then we can do text label and then dot text and then space equals and let's do a string here died let's just put died in here and are we able to copy and paste i don't think we are so guys i will be back once i have um redid the code so then it turns off itself all right guys so i've added that code in and what i want to add is also a wait because uh, we don't want it to instantly just turn off or we're not going to even see a difference so let's put in one second and i think it should do it yep and it saved so let's press play and see if it works all right so I touch this and boom and it says died up there and then I left perfect so now we've tested the GUIs and stuff so yeah it's pretty cool and yeah so what else I, I guess what we could also test is cloning okay or actually how about we do making a instance of a part okay let's test it out because it's just for fun you know so let's do script service and let's uh oh no server script service server script service add and yeah we need a script a, it was just a regular script because we're gonna write this out and obviously what we're gonna do is this it's pretty simple 
we're gonna use a while true while wait loop same thing as while loop but yeah and then we're gonna create instance of a part basically a clone and then put it into the workspace okay pretty simple and we're gonna do it each second okay so let's try it out actually guys i have a better idea what if we clone that death part we made how about that that would be cool so let's try to do that instead same thing though so let's speed this up so we're gonna do while space true actually we don't know while wait and let's do one second space do go down end end it off and then also up here i forgot we need to do while like that and then we can do local clone base equals game dot workspace so let's do work work space dot so let's say um let's do the kill part right so let's exit out of here and let's check what we called it boom 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 so can i check can i check oh yeah kill part okay it's spelled like that so let's go back into our other script so game that workspace dot and then shift kill shift oh i actually did space shift part and then colon shift clone let's see if that works and it seems like it is something we can actually do so then we're gonna do we're gonna wait for it and then we're gonna do clone dot parent equals game dot work base and there we go so now let's test this out so let's gonna do that and there we go okay so let's check this out and see if it keeps cloning and cloning okay well it seems like it didn't clone where we what we did okay and it said dot parent is not a valid member which is very strange but how about we just make it slower a bit huh well let's do instead it's gonna wait for a second uh hopefully it save it didn't save so let's go back in here and guys i think this is where we've gone into a limitation or wait let me just make sure let me make sure so if we just shift here let's see let's see so it seems like it's not having an error now i think we fixed it by just doing an uppercase so yep oh yeah it definitely worked i'm losing a billion up so i thought that was a limitation but it seems like it's actually good um what i would also want to do is just make the position like how about let's do clone oh my god dot position equals vector three dot new zero comma ten comma zero and then we're also gonna need to make clone unanchored let's do clone dot anchored equals false so let's see if that works okay and now let's get out of here and play so it should spawn a kill part ah Oh my god, it did it. It did it. It did it. It, it spawned one. Okay. All right, there we go. Ah, what the heck? Ah, 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 ah. What the heck? Yo, bro, that's not nice. Okay. All right, guys. So we have tested out a bit with uh, Studio Light. So now what I want to do is make a little quick game, which is called like Torture of Death. Oh, wait, guys. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call that. I mean, um, 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 survive the falling parts okay all right guys i did not mean to say uh, uh um torture dungeon okay that and okay well i felt i went into a problem here i don't know what's happening so let's press play and then stop it again and then it should fix it so let's go here and let's scale it let's just scale this bigger and what i'm gonna do with the kill part is just move it away come on you can move i know you can move get out of here kid oh my god he doesn't want to move there we go let's move it over there okay and then we could just scale this a bunch. All right, there we go. It's scale. All right, now let's. We're gonna go back into our script and let's make our little game. And this is gonna take a lot of code to calculate the position, uh, only because we're on this little keyboard. But yeah, so let's speed up the process and let's go. Okay, let's press play and see if it works. And oh my god, it's doing, it's doing, it's doing it. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. We gotta, no. Damn it, I lost my own game. Okay, no, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. We're gonna run, we're gonna run. No, it's gonna no 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 no. This is not good. Yo, no. No, 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 no. Why am I walking? Oh my gosh. No. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, hopefully none come over here. Okay. Damn. Alright, guys. So there we go. So that's how we've tested out um Roblox Studio Mobile. So I hope you guys like this type of video. And I can't wait to see you guys into the in the next one. Bye!